Hi friends, today I'm going to read Nobody Hugs a Cactus by Carter Goodrich. This is a story about a cactus who isn't very friendly at first, but then he learns how important it is to have friends. Nobody hugs a cactus. Hank lived in a pot. The pot sat in a window. The window looked out at the empty desert. It was hot, dry, and peace peaceful and quiet, just the way Hank liked it. But every now and then, somebody would interrupt Hank's peace and quiet. Hi, Hank! Rosie the tumbleweed called out. Isn't it a beautiful day? Hank ignored her. He just wanted to be left alone. Okay, so long, said Rosie cheerfully and she tumbled away. Hank was happy again. But just as he was beginning to relax, hello, shouted a tortoise. Private property yelled Hank. Keep out. The tortoise was so frightened, he hid in his shell. Hank was still yelling at the tortoise when a jackrabbit dashed by. Hiya, Prickles, she shouted. My name isn't Prickles, Hank yelled back, and stay out of my yard. Hank's not being very nice, friends. Tumbleweeds, tortoises, jackrabbits. What's next? Hank sa said Hank. A coyote came loping by. No dogs allowed, Hank yelled. I'm not a dog, said the coyote, and you are as prickly on the inside as you are on the outside. Uh-oh, friends, I don't think that was very nice to say. Before Hank could yell back at the coyote, a cowboy strode past. Keep off the grass, shouted Hank. What grass, said the cowboy. Seems to me somebody needs a hug. Too bad nobody hugs a cactus. Hi, said a lizard. Who invited you, said Hank. And just in case you're wondering, I don't want a hug. That's good, said the lizard, because I don't want to give you one. Then he skittered away. An owl landed on the roof. If you're looking for a hug, Hank said, well, I guess I could give you one. be joking. And for the first time, Hank began to feel a little lonely. The next morning, 
Hank was feeling more sad on the inside than prickly. Maybe a hug wouldn't be so bad after all. The wind began to pick up. An old cup blew by and stuck to Hank's face. His arms were too short to get it off. Great, said Hank. After a while, Rosie came bouncing by. I'll get it off you, Hank, she shouted, and she jumped up to knock the cup off of Hank's face. Then she tumbled away. Hank didn't have time to thank Rosie. He felt bad about all the other times he had been so rude to her. So he came up with a plan. Hank decided to grow the best flower he could and then give it to Rosie as a thank you gift. It took days, but at last it was ready. He couldn't wait for Rosie to pass by again. When at last she finally did come bouncing back, Hank held out the flower. Look, Rosie, I, he said. I grew it just for you. Rosie was so surprised she jumped up and gave Hank a great big hug. It felt so nice, Hank didn't want to let go. And as things turned out, he couldn't. Rosie and Hank had become stuck together. But they didn't care. After all, it's better to be stuck in a hug than stuck all alone. The end. Thanks for listening, friends.